Uh, I just wanted to um, say a little bit about uh, Agents for Black Lives um, and just solidarity work. And uh, I, I, I'm, you know, it's going to sound weird, but, you know, I'm older than a lot of you all, um, but I'm fairly young and I haven't, you know, in my political development, I haven't seen this before. Um, and so as a person of African ancestry, it's been very amazing to me um, to see folks show up and say intentionally that we're here to support black leadership and black people. Um, I have a lot of multiracial friends, you know, and uh, sometimes it gets lonely, you know, when you go through things and you, you look around and you think people who had your back, but you know, when the shit hit the fan, you know, people disperse and, and do things. And so I feel like that happens a lot in black communities, like just feelings of abandonment from other uh, people of color, uh, especially because a lot of people of color come to our communities first because of the economic situation. Um, and so throughout my whole life, I've had multiracial fr uh, friends that were of different races and ethnicities, uh, but I've never seen them take a political stance um, absent from me. You know, like, oh, if I, if I would leave some, folks would join. But I've never seen people say, you know what, we're going to do it on our own, in our own way, and, you know, definitely, you know, check in with you or whatever, but this is how we want to show up. So um, I've been just really, like, uh, like a renewed sense of uh, inspiration from seeing, uh, like, Agents for Black Lives. And, of course, I have friends who are a part of it. Um, but it feels good because it doesn't feel like the whole weight of the – the uh the the question around race falls on on, on our shoulders because that's how it feels a lot of the times even though racism affects all people of color and white people too um it, in a way um it doesn't feel as heavy as it did before thanks Clinton yeah there's been a um there's also been a a gang of white folks in the Bay really trying to throw down in different ways um. I don't think it's just the Bay either, um, but folks really trying to figure out how to do real solidarity work, and it's it's imperfect. But I think I I, I love that it's in a place where people are really trying, um, and and learning and like messing up and then saying sorry and then moving <laughs> moving forward. So that's been cool. Yeah, and I would just say, uh, my, my last thing I guess I want to say is just like, yeah, thank you to this group. I'm glad you all are pulling this together and really trying to grapple with these questions um, in your work. And I, I, was, um, I had the privilege of giving um, a talk to at the, I think, the National Student Investment Network. And um, I get the uphill battle. You're fighting. You're in a very, very white space. It's a very privileged space. Um, so what does it mean to bring our people back into the center is a real, it's a real question. Um, it's a real culture shift, and culture shift work is not is not a uh, quick work. Um, so I really applaud everybody for what you're doing, and I hope that in moments when it feels like it's hard and you're going uphill, that you remember that a lot of people have your back. You know, like this doesn't end with where your your work is right now. Um, that there's a lot of folks um, doing this work all around. 